Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy that's just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of Helltober, my celebration of horror and Halloween for the month of October. And I am in uncharted territory, guys. You see, I was aware that there were five Living Dead movies, you know. And when I saw Land of the Dead, I loved it and I felt there is no way Romero was going to be able to top this. Especially when I found out that my uncle, who was going on the computer and going online a lot more, he actually ended up watching clips of a new found footage zombie movie. And I'm over here like, oh, that should be interesting. And come to find out that this was done by George Romero. And I'm like, wait a minute. When did the dead just came out like about like what, like two years ago? He's doing another zombie movie? So quick? He's never pulled out another zombie movie in a short time span. So I felt no need to watch it because it was not going to be good. Little to my knowledge is that not only was this movie released, but there was one the last movie that was released by George A. Romero. So I've never watched, I've only watched these two movies just for the sake of reviewing them and everything. So. Forgive me if I'm late to the party, guys, and everything. But with that being said, this is going to be my take on Diary of the Dead, the fifth installment of the George A. Romero movie, Living Dead series, and basically, you know, the second part of the new Living Dead trilogy. Well, yeah, the new Living Dead trilogy, continue, well, here's the thing. So, when the dead started rising, you know, basically, um, we actually just saw it from one perspective, from basically the events that Barbara and Ben had to go through. Well, on the other side of Pittsburgh, you know, there was a group of college students trying to shoot their own movie. And, you know, as the zombie outbreak was spreading, you know, these students decided to actually record all of their experiences while, like, you know, trying to understand what's going on and in a, and throughout not only, not only the state, but potentially the world, and basically try to actually adapt to this new threat that's emerging. Now, Day of the Dead is very, very divisive very divisive and with great reason but with this movie I'm surprised that this particular movie is not the divisive one because uh, it's there's so much of a cluster fuck going on in this movie that it's like huh what huh you know there's just a high suspension of disbelief, and mind you, this is coming from a movie about the dead coming back to life and needing people, but it's like, you're expecting people to, like, really disregard a lot of things that was already established, you know? Which begs me the question, basically, if anyone is a fan of this and finds it cool, What's with all the hate with Alien Covenant? But I digress, you know. So, right off the bat, let me just say that basically the continuity of this movie is terrible because this is actually supposed to be a prequel as well. Well, I think it, I know it's a prequel to Night of the Living Dead. I'm trying to decipher if it's supposed to be one of those movies where it's a prequel as well as an immediate sequel. Something like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. Where Resident Evil 2 took well Resident Evil 3 took place before Resident Evil 2, but also after Resident Evil 2. You know? So this is one of those movies where it takes where it definitely takes place before Night of the Living Dead. But is this taking place also after Night of the Living Dead or still during Night of the Living Dead? Kinda hard to decipher with this. Now, a thing that's a huge clusterfuck about this is 
Night of the Living Dead came out in the late 60s, and the technology and things were already established, where with this movie itself, you know, it's supposed to take place around that same time, but everybody has, like, you know, video cameras, internet access, advanced technology, and everything. Uh, uh, and, oh, and to top it off, modernized 2000 clothing. That doesn't make sense, you know. How are you supposed to be taking place before Night of the Living Dead, but your technology is more advanced than what the people had in Night of the Living Dead? That, that, that boggles the mind, you know. In addition, like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the weapons that you see, like, you know, the National Guard or people use and everything, they're pretty, they're pretty advanced. They're pretty, they're, they're like stuff that you saw in like, you know, the late 90s and everything. So, it, so the continuity is freaking terrible. You know, I expected better from George Romero when it comes to continuity. In addition, I expected better where it came to characters. Because, quite frankly, in this movie, I didn't give two crops about anyone. Anyone. At all. You know, it was like everyone there was just cannon fodder. You did not connect to anyone. You weren't given, you were given someone that you were supposed to connect to, but you really couldn't because everyone here is pretty damn horrible. You know, pretty unlikable. With the ex well, with the exception of like some characters you meet down the road, there's an Amish dude that you meet, and also there is this black militia group that you meet and everything. And those are some great characters, but these are not the people we're following throughout the movie. We are following these group of college kids and everything that are really unlikable, really bratty. And come on, very self entitled. Now, with all that said, all that said, basically, what saves this movie and what makes this movie freaking awesome is the execution. You know, I mean, now granted, I'm one of those people that loves found footage movies, and a gripe that I have with this movie is that it doesn't just know if it wants to be. A pure found footage movie or if it wants to be a modernized or like you know a traditionally shot movie so it was kind of jarring that we had the found footage shots and the clarity shots but it was actually pulled off pretty well I have to give George A. Romero that he utilized the cinematography to the advantage and you know it it was done pretty well in addition, you know, I will say that as much as I loved Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead, you didn't really get genuine frights from this, from those movies. The one movie that had the, that had the greatest horror feel, you know, with like the unease atmosphere was Night of the Living Dead. But Diary of the Dead, they really placated like, you know, the suspense and the fear element. No, you didn't care who lived or who died, but like, you know, the settings of everything, like, you know, how they built up the atmosphere of the unknown was freaking amazing, you know? And so, wow, this is, this is a tough nut for me to crack because there is so much wrong with this movie. And, oh, before I go there, you know, another thing that George Romero did well in this one was he incorporated his theme of basically emerging media, which is media like, you know, right here with YouTube and everything, social media, broadcasting and everything. In addition, he actually spoke about mainstream or modern media of how, like, you know, they utilize information to manipulate people. This was actually pulled off effectively well where you saw that basically you know they were trying to blame an immigrant family 
of like you know this outbreak where you know how like basically when they were recording everything that was happening you know you saw that it wasn't just an immigrant outbreak you know it was happening all over the world so like basically the uh what you would call them the cinematographers wanted to edit it in a way that was truthful but yet easy to follow and everything yeah this was a tough movie to crack because the continuity is way all over the place the characters are terrible you know and they utilize a little more cg and the cg isn't that good at all you know but man the atmosphere that was created was amazing the cinematography was great and incorporating the message of like you know media new media emerging media and mainstream media was pulled off fairly well so i'm at a loss i can give this a high cool rating or a low slamming rating huh that's weird you know what i'm going to give it a high, uh i'm going to say that this movie is cool but it's a very high cool it really borders border slamming you know i think but i highly recommend still despite that i say that it's cool i still highly recommend anyone that's a fan of the living dead series or just a zombie apocalypse fan check this movie out agree disagree drop me a comment below give me a like follow token dave on facebook or token dave 80 in twitter subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads but until then this has been token dave the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by and i'll catch you guys later